We start with the big drama stateside from Netflix's top dating show, Love is Blind. Yeah, the real show seems to be the one you don't see behind the scenes. The show's alumni claiming there was nothing to love about their time on reality TV. What is the official diagnosis that you've gotten? I have depression, anxiety, PTSD. All of my flaws kind of bubble up to the surface. 20 hour work days, sleep deprivation, psychological warfare, and a lack of food and water, which quote, literally ruins lives. Those are the allegations contained in a blistering business insider expose. Season two contestant Danielle Rule told me she entered the dating show with a history of mental health struggles. She alleges show producers did little to provide support. Did you identify that you were dealing with some mental health issues? I hadn't been suicidal since high school and I had disclosed those things um, during the uh, psych eval. And when they said, okay, you're fine now, I believe that to be the truth, but I probably shouldn't have partake. I hate bread. I don't know what to do to make me feel better. Danielle claims it all came to a head while vacationing in Mexico with future husband Nick Thompson. My anxiety was boiling up at this point. I did go into the closet to have a panic attack because I was really scared that their rooms were bugged. I sat in the closet. I locked the door. I shut this and I sat in the closet and cried. To the producers, I said, you know what? I'm not trusting myself right now. I've tried committing suicide in the past. In that moment, they all came rushing in. And instead of sending a therapist, they all kind of persuaded us to stay in an environment that I knew wasn't going to be healthy for me. So at no time did they offer you therapy, therapist help? No. This all comes on the heels of Sunday night's live finale debacle, which triggered a petition to fire host Nick and Vanessa Lachey and concerns for contestant Shane Jansen after this bizarre Instagram live. When you have 14,000 people watching you singly, yeah, you tell yourself to relax as well. Kinetic content, which produces Love is Blind, tells ET, quote, we have rigorous protocols in place to care for each person before, during, and after filming. There was absolutely no therapist on set. There was absolutely no support after filming and I will take that to my grave. Why not leave the show? There were consequences in leaving the show. They do film you 24 seven. Is there concern that there will be video that could refute some of these allegations? Oh, no. There's a lot of things that I could have said that I haven't. This is my 100% truth.